Okay, lesson learned. Um, negative lesson learned. Uh, neighbor behind us uh, was having a, an excavator clear out the hedgerow. Um, we gave him permission to take out a couple of the brush piles right here is going to be a new garden. Um, but there was a massive brush pile right there and there were brush piles through here. Um, but I made a mistake and um, I thought that he would only take the brush piles. I pointed out which ones I wanted him to take and he actually didn't touch any of the brush piles that I did not point out, which I wanted him to take it, but I, I didn't think about pointing that one out. So um, he, uh, he took out these brush piles and then he went through the hedgerow. Um, I was inside, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, this is a, like I said, a lesson learned. He took out all the squash, all of the, one of those squash was massive. It was so beautiful. It was climbing up one of the trees. Uh, he took out both both pear trees and the um, and the small um, polycultures that I had planted around them. Um, there is, I can find it. Uh, it's further down, I think. Uh, where did it go? can't even see it. One of the pear trees um, got cut off at the graft, so the tree itself is still in the ground, um, and one of the berry bushes got bent over. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this got chopped off at the graft. It's still in, it's still pretty solid in the ground. Uh, <clears throat> but that is the graft point so everything above that got taken off the other pear tree is completely gone this is an aronia which uh, somehow escaped unscathed so lesson learned um, do not leave anyone unattended um, i didn't even think about the hedgerow i did not expect him to come through here i told him that the um, the trees or the brush that was in the hedgerow the remaining what was not in the piles was going to be used for mulch and uh, he went through here and took out all of the trimmings um which i understand and he was trying to help i really do understand that but that is very very frustrating that is um that's a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of effort that is now gone because I did not stay out here to supervise. So, um, like I said, lesson learned. I'm going to come through here. It is the beginning of July, which means that um, the average with the, if I go July, August, September, I've still got 90 days for things to grow. Um, so I'm going to plant some more stuff in the hedgerow, um, just seeds um, that I already have. No more money spent on this. I'm, I'm not going to risk that. They had such beautiful little polycultures going. I had a currant and a currant and a, no, not a currant, a gooseberry and a, a crab apple or cranberry, blah, gooseberry, cranberry, pear, in each one of those spots and then this one over here I also had an aronia so um, lesson learned and uh, I will continue working on this I'm going to plant beans through this area they mature relatively easily relatively quickly um, I'm not sure how um, damp the soil is I'll need to check that and but I've got a lot of bean seeds. I've got two different varieties of green beans that I'd started to cross but hadn't gotten a chance to work on that. So I'm going to plant green beans through this area. I don't know how many of them will go, get will grow, how many of them will um, be eaten by the rabbits, how many of them will be eaten by the birds. I really don't know. But this looks very bare and sad. So I'm going to try to help it. I will talk with you later.